people used to believe that inequality is a way of greasing the wheels of economic progress. It provides incentives for investment and for risk taking and hard work. Uh, that was a view which was maintained until about 15 or 20 years ago when people started to look at the facts. And economists began to notice that some of the countries that had been most equal were doing extremely well. And some of the very unequal countries, for example, Latin America, was doing very poorly. And when people began to look at Taiwan and Korea, Japan and so on, we noticed that these are countries with very little inequality of income and of wealth. Uh, but they have booming economies. Uh, and they seem to have plenty of in, uh, incentives for investment and hard work. So I would say that um, the, the, the view has now shifted among economists. Uh, we no longer think it's greasing the wheels. We think it's just sand in the gears and it's just slowing things down. Uh, now, obviously, some level of inequality is probably uh, uh, something which is a good thing and we can tolerate. Rewards for people and so on is something which we all should accept. But the levels of inequality which we have in modern day society don't perform any service in terms of incentives. They are just slowing down progress. And the reason is a society which is highly unequal, like my own, America, spends a huge sum of money on what? On hiring guards, private security personnel, uh, people to control crime, and so on. Uh, we have to essentially devote a huge part of our productive resources to containing the tensions which inequality uh, uh, gives rise to.